Hello and welcome to Lyra Lesson number five. Um, today we will be doing a C chord and a B chord. So the C chord is the first one we're doing today. And to play it, you cover the second, the third, and the fifth strings. Um, so you're playing the G, C, C, and E. And then to do the B, again, we shift up one string like we've done with the other ones. And you'll be covering or dampening the first, second, and fourth strings. So um, the B chord, kind of like the D chord, um, have an extra E put into them just to give them three strings because chords are made up of three notes or more. Um, and so it's a little bit of a different chord than you would hear on a guitar or the piano, um, just because of having six notes instead of the full seven or um, seven and five if you want the uh, half notes as well. Um, so again, we have C, where you're covering the two, the three, and the five, and then the B, covering the one, two, and four. So practice these ones. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that is in four, four time. Um, our song we will be doing next lesson is in three, four time. So you can also practice doing it in three, four time. So four, four time means there are four quarter notes in a measure and the quarter note gets one beat. Not very important to, to get into that very far, but basically know that you're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But the next lesson we are going to be doing a song in three, four time. So instead of counting to four, you count to three. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, um, and practice that up, and now you know all of your chords, so you can try all of them, starting with G, two, three, A minor, Again, we have G, B minor, B, C, D, and E minor. So we'll see you next time with a new song you can play with those, those chords. And keep practicing. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like, follow, and comment below if you want to see more. And let me know what you liked and what you'd like to see more of. So I'll see you next time.